Hello everyone, it's Nerdgasm. As many of you may or may not know by now, I am Canadian. I live up here in the Great White North, and seeing as July 1st, Canada Day, is fast approaching, I thought it would be fun to rank the top 5 greatest Canadian comic book characters, in my opinion of course. Now there have been several characters created by Canadians, such as Todd McFarlane's Spawn, Hal Foster's Prince Valiant, even Superman to an extent, seeing as one of his co-creators, Joe Shuster, was born in Toronto. But I will be focusing entirely on heroes and villains that are made Canadian within their stories, within their origins, regardless of where their creators were born, because that really doesn't matter for what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Starting off the list at number 5, we have Victor Creed, also known as the Deadly Sabretooth. His savage, animalistic, mutant abilities manifested at a young age, and he was mistreated from the very start, just because he was different. He is closely associated with the X-Men, being a member of the supervillain group, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, led by their archenemy Magneto. Sabretooth also acts as the main rival of X-Men member Wolverine, and the two have had countless wars over the years, battling each other like two opposing predators out in the wild. It's insane what these two mutants have done to each other, both physically and emotionally. Much like his foe, Sabretooth was also a forced participant in the original Weapon X program during the Cold War, which intended to create super soldiers. Sabretooth is one of the nastiest villains in the Marvel Universe. Vicious, unforgiving, sadistic, he gives mutants a bad name, and of course, his epic rivalry with Wolverine never gets old. Moving on to number 4, with the entire superhero team, Alpha Flight. I'm just going to group all of them together, why not? Alpha Flight is Canada's response to the Avengers, formed and funded by a branch of the Canadian government known as Department H, that monitors all superhuman activity within Canada. The primary members of Alpha Flight include James Hudson, Guardian, who wears a special battle suit that allows him to fly and shoot energy blasts. Heather McNeil, Vindicator, who also wears a suit that gives her similar superhuman abilities. Walter Lankowski, the Sasquatch, a powerful creature created through gamma radiation, much like the Incredible Hulk. Dr. Michael Tuyoungman, also known as Shaman, a nature-based sorcerer who deals with the spirit world as well as the supernatural. Snowbird, a demigoddess of the north that can transform into a pale version of any animal native to the Canadian Arctic. Marina, a member of the alien species known as the Plodex that can exist on both land and in water. She can transform into a giant leviathan creature if her savage Plodex instincts become triggered. The twin mutants, Northstar and Aurora, that possess the ability to fly and generate light. And finally, Eugene Judd, Puck, who has a rubber-like physiology, allowing him to bounce all over the place at superhuman speeds. Honestly, he's probably my least favorite member of the team. A bit too silly and gimmicky for my tastes. Next up at number 3 is Captain Canuck, essentially Canada's version of Captain America. Though there have been several different incarnations of this character since his debut back in 1975, the most widely known version is Tom Evans, who, depending on the story, was an RCMP officer or decorated soldier in the Canadian Armed Forces, who was recruited by the Canadian International Security Organization, or CISO, to fight oppression and terrorism. Captain Canuck possesses superhuman strength, speed, and agility due to an encounter with extraterrestrials, which was later altered to him having found an alien artifact in Canada's frozen north. As a member of the CISO, Captain Canuck has the jurisdiction to arrest criminals, and many of his stories feature futuristic sci-fi elements in them, similarly to Flash Gordon. 
At number two, I'm going with Wade Wilson, the Merc with the mouth himself, Deadpool. Wilson was a test subject of the Weapon X program in Canada. He had been dying of cancer until the experiments performed on him halted his disease, after he received the power of accelerated healing, derived from another test subject of Weapon X, Wolverine. This healing factor of his makes him virtually immortal, which sucks because he has the hearts for Lady Death and can never remain in the afterlife to be with her, not to mention he has had to battle Thanos for her affections from time to time, and the Mad Titan has stated that Deadpool is cursed with life, which makes sense. Deadpool debuted in The New Mutants number 98 in February of 1991, and was originally depicted as a villain, a fairly serious one at that. He had a great look and a cool name, but nothing else really going for him at the time. But, throughout the 1990s, he would turn into more of an anti-hero, and the sense of humor surrounding the character began to grow and flourish, and by the late 90s, during his third volume of his series, which began in mid-1997, Deadpool was breaking the fourth wall on a regular basis. He was unpredictable, goofy, like nothing else in the genre really, which is why I think he connected with so many audiences, and still does to this day. Before we get to my number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. First up is Scott Pilgrim, created by Brian Lee O'Malley. Cool character and great comic series, but just didn't make my final list. Another one worth mentioning is Wendigo, based on the Algonquin legend, a curse that is brought upon anyone who commits cannibalism in the northern woods of Canada, transforming them into a monster. I'm not very familiar with the character of Booster Gold over at DC, but apparently he was made Canadian in the new 52 relaunch or something. I haven't found any solid evidence of it from the comics, so I'm reluctant to include him in any capacity on my list. Regardless of whether or not Booster Gold is really Canadian though, DC Comics has slim pickings when it comes to characters from the Great White North, none that are noteworthy at least. It's a real shame. And finally at number one, my pick for the greatest Canadian comic book character is Wolverine. Born James Howlett in Alberta, Canada during the late 1800s, later adopting the name of Logan, Wolverine is a mutant with a powerful regenerative healing factor and the ability to extend bone claws out of his hands. This made him the perfect specimen for the Weapon X program, which had his skeleton coated with adamantium, one of the most durable substances in the Marvel Universe. Logan is a lone wolf with a troubled past, a chip on his shoulder, and his animalistic and aggressive characteristics make him a bit of a wild card within the X-Men team, an uncontrollable force that his allies have to deal with. He has had countless personal vendettas and rivalries with known Marvel villains over the years, the aforementioned Sabretooth and Omega Red, among others. One of the most badass moments involving Wolverine that I can think of as it pertains to Canada and him being Canadian and all was in issue 129 of Wolverine from October of 1998 during a battle he had with Wendigo. During the fight, he is severely wounded, stabbed in the abdomen with his guts starting to come out, and in order to hold them in, stop the bleeding until his healing factor could do the rest, he bandages himself with the Canadian flag before fighting on. Amazing. This has been Nerdgasm. If there are any characters I might have missed that you feel should have been included in this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, and stay nerdy.